Lights, camera, action. It's Sam's Ender time. I know what you're thinking. What's this? You'll find out soon enough, but yeah, growing the beard out. So I'm just here at my parents' house in Malibu. Take a look. Oh, I'm rich. Deal with it. <laughs> Lots of wine boxes, because my parents are drunks. Drunks and fat. Yeah, shame my parents, whatever. This is a message from San Xander. Do you know where your children are? <gasps> They're on my website, where you should be. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What does it all mean? I don't Once know. Once upon a time, there was a boy who didn't know what he was going to do. So he did something to change the world. What are you doing? Who are you? Where are we going? Now listen, I want you guys to know I'm about to do something really courageous for you all. I'm about to do something really bold. Send me your comments below. Piece of bitch. I'm telling you, Petroni's Pizza's going under. Now, how would you know that and I don't? Trust me. Nietzsche! Oh, he's probably canned for being God's loyal opposition. <laughs> so tell me a crackpot theory. You can't see it? It always gets slow around this time of the year. You know no, that. No, 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 it's more than that. Shalom. You're not Jewish. Why not? It doesn't work that way. My step-grandmother was a German Jew in the 40s. That should count double for me, all right? It's Saturday. That's why we're walking. So, you're working on the Sabbath? I'm culturally Jewish, all right? Give me a break, will you? Right. Proceed. <sighs> Petroni's Pizza is going under because of one small detail. Single ply. We went from two-ply to single-ply. Bankruptcy starts in the bathroom. You know, I'm drawing the line here. As a matter of fact, I liked you a lot better when you was practicing Kwanzaa. That was, that was just a phase. What do you think? Listen, this ain't no feel-good story about some pizza joint. It's about the one lie we all believe in. Me? I'm the happiness without a reason guy. My philosophy is you don't need reasons to be happy. You only need reasons to be unhappy. I know, I know, it sounds unreasonable. You see, the whole human experience is just a speck of dust in the blink of time. And every single one of us is born incomplete. We spend our whole lives searching for meaning to fill the little hole in our hearts. But they ate slices, it's the name tags we wear. And whether we're doing a good job portraying our favorite writers, who, at some point, filled that hole in us temporarily. I do wonder what Kerouac would think of all this. Anyway, all that really matters is one question. What makes the perfect pizza? It's time, get up. Morning comes to us. Walk out the door. See you later. As an actor, your freedom happens between the lines. What does your character want? What stands in her way? These are the two most important questions going into the scene. Self, 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 self promotion is 90% of acting in today's world against the famous. Streets. All right, here piece. we go. Everywhere. <laughs> America, look at this. Oh, the things I do for you. <laughs> really? Come on, Oscar. It's just a shirt. Come on, Oscar. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Makes people think. Uh, I don't want my customers thinking about anything except for how good my pizza is. Go to work on time. Hey, it's windy. So, tell me everything. How was the campus? Is college a waste of money? Only if you're getting a degree in something practical like philosophy. I don't even know if I'll get in. Would you do it if it were free? Anyone would. And that's your answer. Yeah, but I'd get like a golden toilet if it was free. What? Come on, Gigi. Some locals. Some did. <laughs> Look at this place. Yo. We're not in Malibu anymore. The callback is when a casting director wants to see you again. This is a good indication that you did something well. This is the end. Hey, Anne. How'd the book tour go? I didn't even make it out of Brunswick County. Hey, still counts in my book. How's Kelly doing? Screw Kelly. Okay. Morning. 
After this, check the toilet hello, paper. Hello. Right. Hi, Ian. How'd the book tour go? Oh. All kinds of hostility today. Hey, man. How's Kelly doing? All right. Let's get started. Uh, Schopenhauer. Nice of you to join us. Would you care to explain yourself? I uh, sure. I'm somewhere in this body, condemned to this completely indifferent universe that was created by someone or from something that forgot to put human happiness in its design. Amen. Time is an illusion. We are the only creatures on this planet that keep track of time. Therefore, we are the only creatures that have a fear of time running out. Exactly. Just look at Guillermo. Why? If you believe in human happiness, just look in an old person's face. Ah, oh, come on. I mean it. They're like deeply wrinkled, permanent displays of disappointment. It's just etched in there. I'm happy with that a reason. Oh. Hey, oh, it's only a reason. Going to Petronies. This is going to be awesome. Are you excited? I'm excited. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, all right. Time to get to work. All right, all right. All right. All right. Down, Jack. Listen, I brought you in early today because I. Oh we are closed! Read the sign. It's 10 a.m. That time was an illusion. Schopenhauer. Look at that. Oops. Hi, welcome to Petroni's. Hey. We're closed. I'm a new hire. Do we have a new hire today? Who are you, sir? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm John, I'm a new hire. Hi, Hi John. John. John, pull up a seat, join the circle. Well, I just thought I'd give you all fair warning. You should probably start updating your resumes. What? I know it. Two ply. It's the toilet paper, man. That's why we're going on. Yeah, Let's Are you seeing this? Two months ago, the majority partner sold their shares back to me. And uh, we just didn't have the summer season I was hoping for. This is just a precaution, Nietzsche. Yeah. All right? Service stays the same, menu staying simple. Now, attached to your envelopes are the new pizza membership program. Albert will explain how it's going to work. Guys, if we each sell 25 of these, we'll have enough money to get us through the winter season and we won't have to worry about closing. At any rate, I hope the recommendation letters work for everyone. John, I'll need to get to know who you are before I can write you one. But should I even start her? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah obviously. What are you nuts? Yes. Yeah, man. Stay positive, man. It's up to you. I hope you guys know if there was anything I could have done differently, I would have. Well, 30 minutes before the doors open. Let's keep our heads up. And uh, if you guys need anything, don't hesitate to ask. You and me. We're going to make it through this. We're going to make it through this day. We're going to do it together. You are everything I need. You are my love. You are going to pour out your love to me in a perfect balance of sugar and carbonation. You got it? And this is Schopenhauer and Wendy. Hi. What's up, guys? We're actually women. You'll get used to that. Do I know you? I know your face. Gotta keep going on the tour. Yeah. So I just put everything in the sure, sure. morning. Oh, who is this? This is Anne. She's actually a writer. And this is our cook. Hey, what's up, man? He doesn't speak. And that is G. OK. Uh, oh, let me take it back here. I'm going to introduce Bye. What makes the perfect pizza? Hey, I, I'm supposed to shadow you. First stop, best stop. You ever work in the service industry before? Uh, no. Get ready for the big leagues. Welcome to Petroni's, where pizza is our philosophy, and our philosophy is pizza. What's that? The specials you asked for. Well, I'm so glad you did, because today's specials are sausage and pepperoni pie with gluten on the side. <laughs> and if you're interested, which I know you are, we have a very special genetically modified option as well. So what can I get you fellas started off the drink today? I'll do a water. 
All right. Same. Got it? Boring. Let me guess. Water. <laughs> we'll be right back with the H2Os, OK? Uh, be careful with the comedy choices. Around here, customers can't get so over them, OK? Hey, Shop, what can I get you? Two loggers. Done and done. Uh, any auditions this week? Not this week. All right, well, every director I meet eventually asks me how comfortable I am getting naked, so. Did that guy's name tag say Jack Berwick? This is what they do here. All these trailer park kids pretend to be famous writers. See that sweet thing right there? She cleans my beach house in the off season. How many copies did you sell? Sorry. I'm still struggling with the reality of it. Well, plenty of people try to write most. Whenever right? I think of reality, I think of reality stars. And the newly paved route to becoming president of the United States. Well, look at it this way. You've got a new market for adult coloring books. Patronis. I'm sorry? How big is your 14 inches? How big is our 14 inch? Yeah. 14 inches. Oh, OK. Sounds good. Yeah. OK. Thank you. All right. Bye. You don't have an address. Oh, yeah, I'm just uh, in between housing right now. Uh, I am uh, sure that this is just a pit stop on the way to wherever it is you're going. But just approach each day, perform every task with the uh, devotion of building a better resume. You should be fine. I'll get a P.O. Box next week. You, uh, you need a place to stay? Oh, no, I'm good. Shower's an issue? No. People like to come here to smell garlic and sauce. I'll be showered. And we have a washing machine in the clothesline in the back if you need. You ever, uh, you ever been arrested? Uh, no. You ever almost been arrested? You can do a background check if you'd like. Do I need to? Hey, boss man. Joe's here. Hey, uh, Albert, come here. You finish this up and, uh, bring him to the pit. And, uh, get him a book and a name tag for me. Welcome aboard, bud. Thanks. Hey, I'm Albert. What's your name? My name's John. Well, it's not gonna matter. We're gonna change it anyway. Huh? Yeah, so, uh, make sure you fill out all that paperwork and try to get it back to me no later than tomorrow. Okay. So I can get it on file and stuff like okay. that. I'm sorry, I gotta ask, what's up with the, uh, Stone Age typewriter? He's very nostalgic like that. We just recently got him a flip phone, too, so... A flip phone? <laughs> yeah, like the Star Trek. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, the girls are kind of working on them. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, the good thing about it, all his checks cash, so oh, good. Good. he can have three of these as far as I'm concerned. All right, come on, let's go meet Nietzsche. Are you going to make my pizza? Joe, we have been through this. Hey, you're okay. the only one who knows how to do it right. Crispy, not a lot of cheese. Everybody makes the pizza the Oh, exact... crap! These rednecks don't know how to do it right. OK. I, I don't know why it's such a big deal every time. I'll make his pizza. All I want is crispy pizza. Hey, what's Boss Man's name? It's Oscar Smith. He makes his way to these name tags and don't wear one himself. Awesome. So you get 10 cents a month every time that you're on time, and you get a dollar raise for every one of these that you finish. A dollar for reading a book. Yeah, which is probably one of the reasons why we're going under, but... Oh, yeah, speaking of that, we have a no phone policy. Right. Yeah. Make sure you choose one of these by the end of the day. Does it have to be one of these? Yep. Rights for soaking, sinners for scrubbing, leftists for sanitizing. Don't mix them up. Good luck. Uh, 20% off after that. I like peppermint. And thank you for becoming a member. So you get the free soda and the water every single time you come in. You can't beat it, am I right? If you 
think about the dishes as a whole in, they become just as important as the sauce. If all the dishes were dirty, then the pizzas would be affected. What did you do to get stuck back here? Why am I in the pit? Yeah. Some days I volunteer. Stay away from the bar. You're in the program. Anonymity, man. I was in it, too. Off the counter, boys. <sighs> It's very easy. Right is for soaking. All right, move it, Gandhi. So, first slice down. What'd you think? It's a job. Ah, you picked the controversial one. Got the perfect name tag for that. So I get a dollar raise just for reading this book? Yep. Yep, you just uh, got to tell me what you think about it afterwards. Kind of the reason I do it. You got a pen? Uh, yeah. You know, I always wanted to be a college professor, culinary arts. And uh, this is the closest thing I have to a survey course. You read much? Yeah, really. Well, I need you to make you one of these tomorrow. I'll tell you, man, humanity is in need of a major change. A good book It's the best way to view the world through a different lens. All right, circle up, circle up, circle up. Wendy, you did it! You completed the required voluntary reading list. Woo! Wonderful, you're a trony! Yes. yes! What did you learn? All these writers are great because of what they created, not who they were. Most of them are actually pretty disturbed people. Mm -hmm. Hypochondriacs, self-absorbed, <laughs> alcoholics, some even suicidal. I gave Wendy a challenge this month. Oh, oh yes, what's the challenge? To get the heck out of here. This kid has never been outside of North Carolina. Well, <laughs> challenge accepted. Time frame? Four weeks. No, bull. She can go to South Carolina in like 30 minutes. Oh, no, she's right. South Carolina's too close. OK, OK, fine. I'll do it. Yes. Yes, yes. No, you are not done yet. What are you reading next? Speak to you, Frank. I've already read yes. it. You know that. Okay, okay, okay. Will you read anybody off the board again? No. Nope. Oh, then what philosopher are you? Oh, I guess it'll probably have to be Nicholas Sparks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? Albert Camus. Uh, because he was a good guy. I like reading philosophy that was written by someone who is an actually happy person. Oh, that's <laughs> sweet. All right. The results are in, folks. Oh. We sold 43 brand new pizza memberships. <laughs> Only 207 more to go. Oh. Challenge accepted. <laughs> and just no. like the pizza dough no. that G made oh. yesterday morning. Who are you? What's up, ladies and germs? I hope you're holding on to your butts, because it's day two of John Gaw. Guess what I'm doing? Just, just laundry on a clothesline. Just, you know, normal laundry day. <laughs> this is nuts. What's up, John? Hey. You need an extra work shirt? I don't wear mine. No, I'm good. Are you filming me? No. Nope. Make name tags in the back. Did you get it? Uh, John Galt, but you can just call me John. I like my real name. Yeah? Holding all the way. Who's holding Caulfield? Are you serious? That's it. You get John Galt now. 
Catcher in the Rye? Never read it. Don't tell anybody else that. Schopenhauer! Dishes! Where I've seen him before. Mm, weird dude. What is he even doing? What's up, my search and destroyers? Welcome to where dreams gonna die. That's where they go. Uh, I want you to stay tuned. Think she just saw me? <laughs> me tell you. You know, I know you kids are young out there, so I'm gonna try to behave myself. Anyway, I can't say too much now, but stay posted. Peace up. Bash down. Cool selfie, bro. Why don't you do that? I'm right here. I like you, man. You know that? Yeah, yeah. You guys got two playing in the bathroom? What? Is the toilet paper getting thinner? Don't you think North Carolina's had enough bathroom trouble? I need a nap now more than ever. Tired? Yeah. Someone kept interfering with my Hebrew studies last night. And who would do such a horrible thing? Oh, aren't you supposed to be washing dishes? Nah, Misha took over. And bar mitzvahs are for 13-year-olds. I love you. Fine. Fine, I will send it tomorrow. There you go. <sighs> <laughs> Put your finger here. Please. Thank you. Guess we should have seen it coming. Seen what coming? Jack told me about the toilet paper. What does that have to do with anything? There's a bottle opener. Behind, Behind the, the moose head. head. You updated your resume yet? I never had one. You? Hey, John, that's it. We're closed, man. Yes, sir. I got a job lined up cleaning houses again. What about your writing? All my passion projects are going to make me broke. What do you think the human life's worth? Ain't it the worth of something, whatever someone else is willing to pay for it? So we're all just slaves for the people with time and money? Well, tonight, you will work 125. Uh, you got these two. Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. <laughs> Bye. Bye. My turn. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new character study, John. God. Since attaining 900,000 followers and almost 300 million total views on my channel, I thought it was imperative that I go undercover. Check it out. I'm even sleeping in my car. Method actor, sort of. Okay, okay. I gotta get started and tell you guys about this place, the restaurant, that somehow, somehow made it on Reddit's top 10 best places to work. Okay, so I've been doing a little research on this boss who's basically failed at everything he's tried to do. He flunked out a bachelor's degree in culinary arts. Culinary arts. How do you even do that? Oh, my. You know what I always say? Those who can, do. Those who can't, teach. And, bro, boss man can't even do that. Come on, man. I, I got to give it to him. He's had this restaurant for 18 years. And here's the sad part. This is his fourth failed business. That's right, folks. The place is going under. What kind of top 10 place is that? I don't... Go talk to daddy. Hey, daddy, can I get some more money to open another one? Baby boomers. Ugh. And it's not just the restaurant. It's like this whole town has a disease. Everybody here is just a redneck, pathetic loser. And that is the capital T truth, folks. What are people going to get mad at me for class shaming now? Guess what? Let me, let me put it to you like this. It doesn't matter how many books you read, you're still gonna be poor, and you're still gonna have that terrible accent. And you'll never, ever leave this dump of a place. Oh, 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 and there's even a feminist who works there. A feminist! <laughs> Let me mansplain something to you real quick. The word feminism, it came from a man! Charles Fourier, he was a utopian socialist! Oh, and we all know how utopia in. <laughs> For all you peeps, I responded to my last video, the excuses that fat people make. I want to thank you for your encouraging comments and your death threats, all of which allow me the platform you get to see me on here today. You know what I think that some of you don't get? I offer you a service. And I think I deserve a little bit of recognition. I'm not being mean. I'm just a journalist who 
happens to be funny. I'm a truth teller, and I'm doing it for you guys, for you. This is my first subject in my debunking top 10 series. If you like this video, please go like and subscribe. Also, for my diehard search and destroyer fans out there, if you find me, I will feature in my video, give you a little taste of what it's like to be me. Is that bragging? Yeah. I also left a little clue in the comment box where you can come find the bridge and find where I'm at. Trust me, there's nothing else here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go attend some really cool redneck bonfire. All right, kids, until next time, peace up, bash down. Yeah, 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 yeah,
So you're gonna be writing about us in the restaurant? Yeah, maybe. Maybe you and Anne could team up and write something. something I write alone. Yeah, and I do mostly video. Wait, 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 dude, dude, I'll take you to the perfect place for some photojournalism magic. You uh, you free tomorrow before work? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Could we see some of your photos now? Uh, I haven't quite got my story yet. Well, I think that's cool. It'd be like an archive of my life for the past 10 years. Yeah, All mine, mine too. That would be the mine thing. Thing. Yeah. three years. No, but still, I, mean, I think it'd be really nice to have like a oh, little fun. album, you know. And you'd be like, like 10 like, years old. What are you, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah. okay. yeah. 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 That's it. No. Come on. You guys leaving already? Hey, make sure y'all put out the fire. Woo-hoo! Yeah. Just don't do anything I would do. Yeah. <laughs> Simone, you coming? No, you, uh, you go ahead. Do you want to go for a walk or something? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. What's up with that rabbit? Mm, don't ask. So Oscar's all about just be a good person, you know? Good things happen to good people. If I'm really being honest with myself, I want more, you know? There's all these things I want to do, and I get a glimpse of an opportunity, and I don't even take it. The jack of all trades, the master of none. You're too hard on yourself. You're not? No, I gave up on myself a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> really? Exhibit A. When I rolled into this lovely little town of yours, the only music on the radio were these country songs with lyrics like, baby, since you left me, I can't go on living without you. I love that song. Oh, it's a terrible song. And then I thought to myself, if you replace the woman of the song that he's complaining about with some sort of higher concept, it gives the song a deeper meaning. You're way more trapped in your head than I thought. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, the reason the song is so crappy is because it takes itself so seriously. If you want to live a life with more meaning, then you have to create something by making something out of nothing. I like that you're a journalist. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's cool. When I first started at Petroni's, Oscar pulled me aside and he said, what are your dreams? Oh, God, that guy. That was the first time anyone's ever asked me that. He views the restaurant as a pit stop, and it's become a home to me. And I know I've been there for way too long. But he's done a lot for us. And it'd be cool if you could capture that in your video essay or whatever. Why are you here? I don't know. If I could go back and tell my parents to use protection, I probably would. I mean, why are you here in Holden Beach, North Carolina? Why are you laying in the hood of a guy's car you barely know? You're right. I don't know you. So who are you, John Galt? Who is John Galt? Where I come from, we call that being a tease. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Just choose something, anything. Sorry? Good things don't happen to good people. They happen because someone sacrificed everything they have to get what they want. Just choose one thing. No, thanks. There's nothing in the world that would make me sacrifice my relationships with people, if that's what you mean. Look, I like you, John. You came into that restaurant confident. There's a thin line between confidence and arrogance. Not 
there, dude. Uh, come on. Uh. Sounds like you need a jump, huh? Yeah, I guess I do. Pop your hood. Oh, I guess if I had to choose something, this is always an option for me. Just sitting on the beach here in Holden Beach. <laughs> with... Simone. You do realize we watch the sun go down and now it's I do, I do. I think I'm... We have to be at work in an I hour. Do, I don't think Stop I have to work today. Stop taking pictures. I probably should go to work. Let's do one more here. Not Have you parties. been collecting seashells from Holden Beach? Yeah. Nope. Ah! No, I can't. No, I can't. I'm wearing shoes. I'm wearing shoes. I'm wearing shoes. I'm wearing shoes. Okay. No, I can't. What are you doing? It's for my Instagram handle. You can follow me. Just caught another one bites the dust. You redneck pathetic loser. Ollie, come on, let's go. Gotta go. Be epic, yes, I stand right here, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right, and uh, the red button is record, yeah? Red button, I told you, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, okay, all right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, and three, two, one. Take a look at this place. Have you ever seen something that sure, is just. Cool. Jack, you gotta be quiet while I'm filming. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. Yeah. Take action. a look at. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to a junkyard museum filled with tiny houses and a whole lot of crap. This place is like classic Southern Hoarding 101. They even built a sidewalk down the middle. I feel like Moses parting the sea of bad habits. Jack, what are you doing? Up, come on. Search and destroyers, welcome to your second clue. And cut. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that <sighs> sort of mean? What? I mean, Mary's a very nice lady. Nah, I mean, but let's face it, this place is a dump. Well, here's a fact. Mary's a very well-known artist in the South. People come from all over the country to see her work. Yeah, but um, look, dude, my followers are more interested in the comedy and the jokes I have. I found, like, a nice balance between journalism and comedy. Look, I'll show you one day. Here, come on, let's go get some B-roll. Now, I want everything nice and straight. Keep it side to side, good quality. You're doing great, man. You're doing great. Oh, no, look at this! Jack, you gotta see this! Hey, hey, what do you think about my uh, my B-roll? B-roll. Oh, yeah. It's really good, actually. <laughs> uh, well, what, are, what are you doing right now? I am transferring your footage over to my phone. Hey, you know what? Maybe tomorrow I could show you how to edit some of this stuff. Yeah, are you going to add the stuff about Mary being a renowned artist? Sure. Well, you, you ought to interview her sometime. She's fantastic. Yeah, sure. Hey, I was thinking, what if you did a uh, commercial for Patronis, huh? Not really much for point if it's going under, right? Right, yeah. Um, what is, uh... What is, what is, what is the, Ah, yeah. lens clip. Yeah. It's kind of like my trademark. Kind of like your yarmulke. Yeah, my fanny pack. <laughs> yeah, fanny pack's weird, bro. Bingo! Hey, come on, we're gonna be late. Can't believe you walked to work. Guys, come here. Yeah. Hey, everybody, can you gather around, please? Thanks, uh... One of the hardest things I've ever done, but uh, after 18 years, Petronius Pizza will be closing its doors. Everything will go on as normal for the next week to 10 days. Get your paychecks, hours. 
The memberships, thank you so much for the memberships, your, all your hard work. Don't discount anything that any one of you has ever done for this place. You made Petroni's pizza. Thank you for that. Man, what a run it's been. Albert, can you uh, collect the leftover memberships? Let's have a great last week, guys. Keep your heads up. So do you uh, have any idea what you'll do now? Uh, I've always wanted to be a journalist. Journalist? Yeah. John, that's great. That is terrific. I'll be right on that letter of recommendation right away. Thanks. In the meantime, uh, it's a little something to, uh, to get your own place. Oscar, I, I, I can't take John, this. You're a good guy. I'm just sorry we didn't have more time together. I can't accept this. It's a... <laughs> a guy like you should be sleeping in his own bed. Get back to work. What's wrong with you? Day three and I'm taking out the trash of the brother that pays it. true that the meaning of life may be all the things. What if it's true that the meaning in each other? What if it's true that the meaning of... What makes the perfect beef? Is it the sauce, the dough, the presentation? Every ingredient is simultaneously a whole. And part of something great. It goes. No happiness doesn't fix everything, Jack. How's it going? Not good. Not good. All right, come on, Ian. I got a lot of paperwork. What's up? How much do we need? I don't know. Oscar doesn't talk to me about that. So basically, it's a fundraising site, and I think we can get people to donate. Here, take a look. What, no yarmulke today? Not feeling Jewish anymore. Oh, yeah, your rabbit ate it. Right? My rabbit is more of a... She must be lonely. Shop's right, I gotta be serious. Those six dollars are mine. Hey, wait, 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 you don't have your pad, slugger. Mrs. Fuel and Graham, I'll have you know I plan on being ever free today and earn all six of those dollars. We'll see. I'll do the gluten-free pepperoni collezioni. Uh, we, we only have gluten-free dough for the large pies. Fine. How was that? Oh, that's more like an hour on your part, don't you think? Huh? You're right. Sorry. Customers king or queen. <sighs> I'll do the 
gluten-free pepperoni and mushroom pizza then. And a water. My pleasure. So together we have 3,000 friends. Right. If 10% of them donate a few bucks or at least respond to the message... I don't know, Ann. That seems like a pyramid scheme. No, 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 no. It's multi-level marketing. Let's just see what happens. No, no, it's a multi-level waste of my time. You're a hater. Nietzsche's in here breaking dishes, and you talking about pyramids, the Sphinx, and the Nile? Gee, where's my order? What'd you have? Gluten-free pepperoni mushroom. Oh, I'm supposed to tell you we're out of gluten-free dough. So... We're out of gluten-free dough. Great. It's not congealing. Oh, don't tell me that. Uh, Mrs. Grant, I'm really sorry, but we, we're out of gluten-free dough now. It's not congealing. Now, I brought a water here for you, and it's, maybe if you want to order something else, I, I'm, really, I'm really sorry, but... No, actually, let me tell you something. You shouldn't say, I'll do you gluten-free calzone, or I'll do a diet soda, or I'll do your house salad. Just say you want the house salad. Or better yet, you'll have the house salad, please. And don't bring your cell phone to a restaurant. You came here to eat, and it's rude. You got that? That's a great idea. But I came here to be served. No. You come to a restaurant to spend time with people. I'll do your IPA at the locals' discount. Okay, so that's two loggers and one IPA. John! John! Send in them! Hey! Feast up, bash down. Search and destroy! for my channel, you wouldn't understand. Channel? I, I don't understand. What does that even mean? I don't... John? What's going on here? Sam Zander. He's the troll who fat shames people on the internet. What? I knew it. Simone, he's been lying to us this whole time. All right. He's a monster in a costume. <sighs> monster. I am achieving my dreams when all you ever do is talk about yours. You stay here waiting for something that will never happen for you. I have a million followers, and I earned every one of them. How many do you have? Oh, and if you guys want to stop being on the wrong end of people's jokes, then maybe stop being such an American freaking tragedy. Let go of me now! Get off me! You're supposed to feature me on your channel! Peace up, bash down! Stop it! This is our renaissance. The world is changing, and you all have front row seats to sit and watch it happen on your screens. If you want to make it, you have to create. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy the show. So all you ever be is someone else's audience. Very good. You're a real hero behind the keyboard. Yeah. You'll make a great housewife one day, Wendy. John! What? Need to know. I'm gonna kill you! No, no, need to stop! Come on, come on, no, stop! Stop! Get off of me! Stop it! It's no, not worth it. Get inside! Get inside! Simone! Simone, sweetie. Come on. <laughs>
CCTVs, right? Okay, uh, how much have we raised on that fundraiser site? I don't know, 50 bucks. It's good. It's from Albert. How is this not against the law? There's nothing we can do. His audience is split down the middle. There's people who love him, people who hate him. Both sides make him money by watching. You can't win. You gotta kill him. He's popular because he hates everything. He doesn't even know who Holden Caulfield I is. I know. I'm like him. No. No way. We both want to be our own boss. He's just found a way to get an audience. Aw. You can read the eulogy at his funeral. Wait, Anne, what are you thinking? Oscar tells us that we're here to build a great resume, but we're actually building a great eulogy. Dude, that's no John way. Oh, my God, it's this Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Sam Sander! Search and destroy! Dude, yes! Yes, dude. Oh, yes. Man. Oh, man, I need to stop smoking. Dude, dude, why are you walking all over? <laughs> oh, dude, he's thinking about his uh, next top ten debunked videos. Yes, yes. Yeah. Actually, my car broke down. Oh, oh dude, we have to take four-hour shifts just oh, to get here, man. God. My gosh. Hey, dude. who's we, white man? Dude, doesn't work. Hey, do you guys happen to have a couch I could crash on tonight? Dude, so what time does Patroni's close? We totally yes. went by there and the lights were off. Oh. And but that's probably the reason why they're closing, right? <laughs> yeah! Oh. oh, and there's a bunch of cars still in the parking lots. It's weird. So how does this work? Yeah, can you set us up like that Asian guy? Yeah, he has his own channel now. Yeah. Dude. Oh, we, we could, could be, be the, the two dudes! dudes. The two, two dudes! dudes. Oh. Dude, oh, oh, and don't worry about the feminist 2025 comments. We totally handled that keyboard warrior. <laughs> yeah, she should do the world a favor and just kill herself. Whoa. Look, man, what we're trying to say is that you're an inspiration, man. You're the only truth teller on the internet. Only one. Thanks, guys. Look, I don't have my equipment, so you guys have a good night. Oh, here. dude, but that's okay, because I brought mine. Yeah. We can use mine. We've been recording you since we got out of the car. Ooh. You know, for people to see how you are off camera. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see the comments when I post this. Dude, my dad said awesome. never to meet your heroes, but, like, in person, you're totally dope. Dude, we didn't even know we were going to catch you by yourself. I yeah. always thought that you'd be around all the females, you know? But <laughs> I guess you are still undercover, so yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, man, uh, Sammy, when, my friend, is the next party? Yeah, is there another bonfire Bonfire! 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 I just met the president of Peace Up Bash Down Channel, Mr. Sam Zander. And you know what? He's not even as cool as you think. He's more of a lone soul. So needless to say, we're no longer fans. Sam Zander, more like Sam Phone. Sam, turn it off, dude! Don't touch his phone, bro! You're about to become a world star famous, bro. Yeah, dude. Keep recording. <laughs> keep recording. We got Sam Zander, president of the Peace Up, about to get bashed down, channel. <laughs> oh! Yeah! World star! Ah! World star! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Hey, you coming? He's got to come back for his car sometime. Hey, you OK? My wife thinks you look like Brad Pitt. Thank you. Come. 
There you go. It's just a phase. When you're in it, you think it might be that way forever. The 60s are about free love. The 70s with the hippies. The 80s with the cocaine and jogging. Today, the art of listening is gone because of all these technologies. But it's just a phase, Johnny. It's, um, Sam. My name's Sam. Just a good name. My grandson, Sam. You know, sometimes when bad things happen to me, I say to myself, Guillermo, preferia ser un pájaro. Thanks. It's just a face. Got it! I believe you owe me some money. I, uh, I wrote that for you last night. Letter of recommendation. Yeah, you can keep that. Just be a good guy. Just be a good... Why do people say that? This is how I make a living. You feel alive? Do I feel a lot? <laughs> oh, God. Other than yesterday and apparently last night, have you ever once had a conversation, went to dinner with one of your followers? Hmm? Oh, internet is my conversation and my dating life is just fine, but thanks for asking. You know, I watched the first video you ever published. How you're battling depression. Mad at the world because you couldn't find a job as a journalist. You know, it almost felt like I was watching a... Watching a real human being with feelings there. I wonder how much of that guy's left. What's left is I'm a successful journalist now, making my own way in the world. Like you, well, like you before you put your business under. And like me, you need an audience. You cater to them the same way I do. Different methods shooting for the same results. You're like me. I'm just better at it. You know, when you get to be my age, and I do hope you get there, you'll start to realize that everybody used to be something. You just make sure that this is the something you want. Because it'd be a real, real tragedy if you did this because you thought you had to in order to make something people want. I wish you more than luck, Sam. Yeah. Luck? It's for losers. It's just a phase. Well, they say giants fall hard, but I did not expect this. Boss man gave me a letter of recommendation. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should we read this tonight? <laughs> I can't imagine what this says. It's... Rough night. Some cars are poorly made. Leaving your lights on. That's sort of a user error. Yeah, I'm starting to learn that. Still runs, so. though. Tell me, Sam. What happens when you sacrifice everything you have for a dream that doesn't work out? What are you left with? Well, this video is only projected to have a couple million views, and the one before had nine. So it seems like my business is in a bit of a decline. I don't know. 
Maybe I need to choose some better subjects. Something a little more interesting. Bye, Simone. Ladies and gentlemen, there she is. Simone Petroni's own Academy Award winning actress. <laughs> I could have had her. So lonely. Never find happiness. You guys want to watch a video of him getting knocked out? I do. Let's go. This is going to be our last Tuesday together. Hello. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Uh, I think I want to make movies. Really? Oh, uh, don't worry. You're already kissed, dude. Oh, thank you. But what are you doing right now? Uh, it's hard to say because it's always right now, you know? What are you doing on your phone, Nimrod? Scrolling through John's videos. I've been watching his Come camera. Come on, seriously, but... don't watch his stuff. Well, he, he didn't log out of his account on my phone, so I've been studying how and when he releases his videos. He's got a real strategy behind this. He just keeps going... <gasps> hey, Simone, come here. You've got to see this. And this is how we do it. Come on to go, Waters. Hey, man. I always wondered if you had a name tag. I don't wear it. Bureaucratic reasons. So we have full access to John's account? Yep. Is that we just delete everything? Probably has backups. Oh, well, whatever. It took him like hours to find all of that, so we delete it all. So his videos would go back to zero views. Mm -hmm. And I'd have to start over. So, Moon, welcome to the dark side. <laughs> it's about time. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, that's awesome! Yeah, I'm going in the spring. I've been doing so much research into, like, their culture. Oh, my God, I got to sit down. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. UNCW has a culture? No, get this, get this. I'm going to the University of Primorska. Primorska? Yeah, it's a thing. And it's got free tuition, even for non-citizens. Wait, where's Primorska at? Slovenia? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess I gotta get a passport now, Yeah, right? I guess you do. So wait, 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 what are you gonna be studying? Happiness? No, don't play language games. Tell me for no, real, what no, is it? No, 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 it's called positive psychology. You're getting a PhD in happiness? Well, it's undergrad, but yeah. Oh my God, Wendy, I am so freaking proud <laughs> of you. Thank you, thank oh. you. I, I didn't do it for you. Oh, I don't care why you did it. <laughs> You were going to be getting out of here. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go. I gotta go tell him. Yeah, yeah. Tell okay, me. okay. Nisha, come here. Come with me. Come with me. What's wrong, Ann? What? Are you smiling? It's like <laughs> you are smiling. What is that about? Come on. Oscar's more of a father figure than anyone my mom brings home. I come in early every morning just to hang out with him for a bit. Is this for Oscar? It's for us. Uh, 
was a good job. I don't know what else to say. And cut. Good work, brother. OK, Albert, you're up. All right, cool. All right, come on over here. Come All right, on. so what we got going on? All right, you're going to stand. You're going to stand right here, right okay. here, right in front of that thing. Yeah, yeah, turn right, around, cool. turn around for me. Very good. You handle me too much, Jack. OK. All right, are you ready? In three, two, one, action. I applied to work here because I had a kid. And I missed the first two years of her life, and I was determined I wasn't going to miss anymore. So Oscar gave me an opportunity to do that. And I'm always going to be grateful even though I punched you when you tried to hug me. And I didn't mean it, but when a six foot eight dude comes in to hug you, it's not gentle love. So, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Pow! No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks Very right. nice. And that was good, right? Yeah. All right, all right, not too much. I came out a little over two years ago, and the only aspect of my life that hadn't flipped upside down was Petroni's Pizza. To all the Sam Zander fans out there, if you want to be a part of a good cause, click the box here to make a donation to help us keep this place going. We need more people. Want to get Patron? He spoke today. The testimonials are nice, but uh, they only fit on the small screen. And she's got a plan. Every person past and present. Just to be clear, you're asking for my help? Can you do it? Pinky swear you need my help. OK, yay. Um, well, I'll have Albert um, draw up a list of names, and then where should I start? From the beginning. OK, I can do it. Yes, I can. I believe in myself. Guess this is what she meant by building a great eulogy. Told you. Right. What if we can't get the people here? We're going to get them here. They're going to come. OK, right. I believe in us. We got this. Should we do affirmations? Team and on. <laughs> it's too much. I know. I'm really send trying it, with send you. An email. OK. She wants my help. Hey, Wendy. Letting the rabbit out of the cage, huh? Yeah. It was very poetic. Well, I was letting him take a crap before we get into the car. What'd you name this one? Tolstoy. Of course. <laughs> hey, Wendy. We're all gonna miss you. Where are you going? I'm gonna miss you, too. Hey, don't have too much fun in uh, Transylvania. It's Slovenia. It's a place. Yeah, whatever. Hey, Nietzsche. <laughs> I forgot to tell you that yesterday was the last day for deliveries. How you doing? You doing all right? Well. I know it's about to start. Going back? I got to really know the guy who led the program last time. So uh, I've been thinking about asking if I could become his apprentice. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. I didn't fail. I know that. I'm just going in on my own terms. So you've given God a break? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Guess so. Are you turning your badge? Uh uh. It's for you. We're all in the gutter. Some of us just choose to look at the stars. I wanted to thank you for that. Mm -mm. Thank you, pal. This is really cool. It's time. Time for what? Keep them close. <laughs> 
We may never be famous. Hardly anyone will remember our name. But what we do have is each other. And today we brought everyone here whose lives have forever been changed by you. Okay, you can open your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I was 16, and I'd just be hanging around this place. I was getting into all sorts of trouble, and you gave me a broom. You brought me in like family, and now I have one of my own. You were always more influential than any of those books you made us read. <laughs> you know, working here changed me. Not just books, but people. And then to have my daughter work here was too cool. Hey, boss. Ernie. I see my name tag tradition held up. <laughs> well, boss, we took this and had everybody sign it from past to present. This is the one I used when I dropped that pizza on the ground, and you said I couldn't apply the five-second rule, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Everyone who has worked for Petroni's Pizza is here in one form or another. Ah. <laughs> Man. Ugh. You know, I, uh, I always knew when we started this project that, uh, that I wanted something more than just a pizza restaurant. So every book report you turned in, even though some of you hated doing it, <laughs> Schopenhauer, <laughs> they all just, it brought me so much joy. Yeah, I think, I think it's because I wanted to hear about how you viewed the world. I mean, the books meant something to me, but, but it was so much more interesting to hear what they meant to you. So thank you all for that. Wendy. You've taught me so much. And when I think about my life, <laughs> I've learned that I'll forget way more than I could ever remember. And it's like trying to hold sand with your fingers open. A lot of it falls away, but the important stuff, it'll stick to your hand. Thank you. Uh, I was trying to think of a good metaphor, like, like Wendy, but, uh... <laughs> it's too black. It's perfect. Thank you. This has all been really very touching. But how about we get some pizza? Yeah! Love it! So this guy came in and asked for eight slices. And I was like, well, it'd be cheaper to get the large pie. And he says to me, I want eight slices broken up on individual plates. So I come back with the whole large pie and say, nothing can be broken when everything is one. Then he asked me if I'm feeling OK. And I say, considering humanity is just a bunch of apes with ego trips, I'm doing just fine. Then I served all eight slices on individual plates. And he looks at me and says, shalom. So then it hit me. Not only did I just serve pizza to Incubus, but Brandon Boy may be a little Jewish. Maybe I am too. The thing is, if you want to be religious or, or a rapper or a poet, go do it. Just don't be an a-hole. Because everyone else is trying to find their own thing and wait through this contradictory, beautiful mess of a world to get to the root of their true, authentic individuality. And if that ain't true, at least it's a pretty thought. Basically, we're all just a small slice of a very old extra large pie. We all come out of the oven the same way, spend our lives in our own ways, only to get eaten in the end. And. Well, you know how the digestive system works by now. So what makes the perfect pizza? I'll give you a hint. It's a circle. Typically, it has eight slices. You could have more, you could have less, but any amount is better than none at all. And what makes it perfect is if by the end you enjoyed it, and then you keep eating it, and yeah! then... Yeah! Come on! They get it. Stop talking to them. As much as I love portraying Mr. Kerouac, I gotta admit, words and the act of writing only point towards reality. Jack! 
They never get there. Got that? What are you doing, checking me out or something? Get out of here. this video today to let you guys know I'm taking a break from my channel not because I'm gonna stop searching for the truth but because in a way I feel like maybe I already found it there was a famous French writer who once said I tore myself away from the comfort of certainties through my love for truth and truth rewarded me her name was Simone Bedevoir and if she's out there listening somewhere I just want to let her know that I'm sorry maybe Maybe she could forgive me. Also, I left my lights on, and I could really use a jump start. Has the coming man lost all his sense? He filled my jaw with ignorance. Another cell.
upside down, up, upside down, upside down, up, upside down, upside down, up, upside down, up, upside down. Up, upside down. Up, upside down. Up, upside down. Up, upside down.